Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Brother Love and today we're showing off a brand new build. Um, please allow me to introduce to you a brand new build in a 20 year old game, okay? There we go, here's a hint to what the build is. This is Valyria from Conan the Barbarian and you can RPG this up as hardcore as you want to. Uh, for example, you can go to Act 5 and grab Conan. You can go to <laughs> Act 1 and grab the Archer. You can go to Act 2, which I did, and grab the Old Wizard. Or you can go to Act 3 and grab Fulsa Doom himself to be your companion. Um, there used to be a bug in Diablo 2 that was around for 20 years, so nobody ever played this build. But uh, I discovered last night that this build is absolutely fantastic. It can do all the content in the game. Let me show it off real quick. Um, we got 20 points in Valkyrie, 20 in Decoy, 20 in Penetrate, and all the rest just in our passive dodge abilities and crit chance, right? This is a passive and magic build, and uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's talk about our points. We put 110 in Strength, 225 in Dex, 160 in Vitality. Notice that we have 90 all res because we use the absolute chad of a piece of armor called the guardian angel and it is bird check this baby out 15 to maximum all resists so not only does this chick dodge everything she she don't get hit <laughs> she does a ton of damage she is the safest melee character in my opinion in diablo 2 incredibly safe incredibly satisfying to play with uh, we have ghoulie mains high lords spirit grief call to arms uh, lay of hands Bulkathos, raven frost verdungos and gore rider boots with a couple of plus one magic skills uh, charms so without any further jawing let's go and see what this can do against andario um, so the funny thing is, I was playing a Boazon last night. I rolled my very first faith, and I didn't enjoy the Boazon. So I said, why don't I try this build that I tried a long time ago? And because I heard that they fixed the bug, the terrible bug with the build, and not only was it great, it was fantastic. It's a very fast killer, it's simple, and it's effective. What you want in a build, right? Simple and effective. Let's go. <laughs> My name is Brother Love. I am a family friendly streamer. And I uh, I was a Dead by Daylight main for 7,000 hours, but I have a lot of experience with ARPGs. Love them. Love Grim Dawn. Love Torchlight. Uh, and in my opinion, in the Diablo franchise, I personally feel like this is easily the best Diablo. That's that's my personal opinion. There. I love the way the loot works. I love the changes the devs have made. The devs are amazing. They're beautiful. They're inspirational. I love them with all my heart. We're just gonna go around and kill everything so you can see the versatility of the build. You want to build that can do everything, right? If Terra Zones ever become single player, you want to build that can farm all of those Terra Zones. And with 90% all res and you know 60 to 70% dodge, I, I assure you, this is an extremely tanky, beautiful hero. Do you want to live forever or do you want to play as Valyria? On our mercenary, we have the Reapers, Fortitude, and Dario's Visage, Might Mercenary. I'm lazy, so I should probably go with a Prayer Mercenary. Because um, <laughs> I am very lazy. Uh, but let's just, let's just have fun today. How does that sound? Anybody like to have fun in Diablo 2? I know I do. Now, I'm still theory crafting this character. I can't say that I have everything perfect yet. But you'll notice that our uh, Valkyrie right here is red. The red Valkyrie is the tankiest Valkyrie. So if you're looking for somebody who's not gonna die to uh, the enemies you find, you want her. 
since I'm still theory crafting this build a little bit, trying out some different items, um, I should point out that her critical strike chance from the, the uh, magic and passive tree doubles the physical damage of a crit, right? Grease has very little physical damage on there. But Doom has a ton. Rune Master, uh, I'm trying to get my hands on a Rune Master that has about 450 physical damage. Um, Flesh Ripper, Ghost Flame, Hand of Justice, I'm buying a Doombringer today. Uh, as soon as he wakes up, Azurath. There's lots of options. I'm going to try them all out. And I'll get back to you guys in the future and tell you what I think. But for now, just to keep it simple, since Greens. most people end up with a grief, we are going to kill things. And the best part about this build is how incredibly cheap it is to repair your gear. I don't know if that's important to you guys, but to me, I don't want to go to the repair and pay 200,000 gold every five minutes. That's, uh, that pretty much ruins every build for me. But this build is extremely cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely cheap. Okay. We killed the uh, the evil and Dariel. Let's move right along to the Durance of Hate, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go do the things. And uh, this is going to be a YouTube video. Just for heads up, I do lots of builds. And I put them on YouTube. I made two builds yesterday. But, uh... I'm not going to lie to you guys, beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is definitely 100% the best build I've ever come up with. It's, it's, not even, it's not even close. Because you're talking about a 20 year old game, how do you find a build that nobody's done in a 20 year old game? It doesn't happen. People are brilliant. People are smarter than me. You know? You just, you just don't find people who have not come up with a build yet, right? You don't find those builds. Um, so I am I am just tickled pink to share this with you guys. Tickled pink. This is gonna be my, without a shadow of a doubt, my magnum opus. This is the best build I will ever craft in the other two. I don't doubt it whatsoever. And you know what the best part is? You don't need a sundered charm for this build. Yeah, who cares about the physical sunder charm? You absolutely don't need it. You kill almost as fast as the Frenzy Barbarian and the uh, Fanaticism Kill Paladin. And you're way safer than both of them. Let me tell you guys something. When I play a Frenzy Barbarian and I'm in the, uh, the World Stone Keep, uh, I am clenched like you wouldn't believe. I'm on the edge of my seat. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. I'm, I'm always afraid I'm going to die at any second or I'm going to run into a, a physical immune monster. You do not have to worry about that at all with this character. And that is so beautiful and so wonderful. It's nice to just turn your brain off and kill stuff, right? Not have to worry about... I don't worry about too much. Even Stinky and Dolls are not too big of a problem. Um, <laughs> yeah, it turns out being able to dodge everything is a huge, is a huge bonus. Um, so they fixed the bug, and now she's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to say the word broken, because people take that for granted. Um, she's not broken. She's perfectly balanced in every single way. She is an absolute delight to play. Love her, love her. I had so much fun playing this character last night. I stayed up way too late. I wanted to stream this last night, but uh, I taught myself into going to bed first. <laughs> isn't it nice to get hit by stuff and not get hurt? Isn't, isn't that fun? So people are like, yeah, but Guardian Angel has plus one Paladin skills. Why aren't you using Fortitude? You can do more damage. Do you? You know, at a certain point, you don't need more damage. Let me just say, 
If, oh. if you want to kill things the fastest, play a sorceress. You know what I'm saying? If that's your, your overall goal, be a horker. You know what I'm saying? Play, play the things that are famous for doing the thing. This, the whole point of this is to enjoy the experience, right? If you're gonna kill things plenty fast, you're not gonna die. I don't know what more you could possibly want from me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes it's nice to just be an absolute chat. Sometimes it's just fun to do that, right? This place is humongous, so it might take me a hot minute to find the, uh, <laughs> the gateway down. My apologies. We are in hell difficulty, and this place is humongous. In hell. Oh, I forgot to swap, my bad. See, this is the problem with getting old, right? I messed up. <laughs> this is the problem with getting old. I forgot to swap. It doesn't matter. Who cares? I'll do it with the sub option. I can care less. Yeah, it turns out I do a lot more damage if I, uh... If I'm not punching things with all the arms, right? They look exactly the same. That's my problem. <laughs> if I can give you guys one piece of advice, uh, stay young and beautiful forever. Don't grow old like Brother Love. Uh, I am so thirsty. Punching a, a dude with call to arms. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, how come this thing ain't dying? <laughs> Hold up, these aren't the paid actors I called for. This dude was supposed to die, man. <laughs> and personally, I think grief is a very attainable weapon. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I feel like most people end up getting a grief, right? I'm not so sure about Angelus and uh, Torches, probably not. But the secret of this build isn't Angelus and Torch. The secret of this build is Guardian you. Angel. That's the, uh, well, of course I found the entrance. Of course. Yeah, there's a reason melee characters don't like to, uh, come to the Durians of Hate, but, you know, we're just having a good time. We're making acquaintances here. We are being friendly. Yeah, I want the cherry red Valkyrie. That's the one I want the most. But gosh, I really don't care. Did I ever tell you guys how lazy I am? This is how I come up with builds like this. I'm just so lazy. A build has to do all the work for me. You know what I'm saying? In Grim Dawn, I have a passive build that kills everything with uh, auras. And my most favorite build in Diablo 2 was the Double Dragon Hand of Justice Paladin. But I, I'm not lying, guys. I think this has usurped it. I think I enjoy this build more. It's just so fun. I just have so much fun with her. And it's new. Man, it's got that new car smell. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything better than a new car smell? Okay, there is something better than a new car smell. When a baby falls asleep on you, and you hear it making the cute baby noises as it sleeps on your chest. Okay, that's that's better than a new car smell. Okay, but it's it's close. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, my laziness, uh, it does get me into trouble sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. In video games, not in real life. In real life, I'm actually very proactive. If I could do something now and not have to do it later, I will instantly do it. But in video games, I play for this, uh, this is a very weird reason. Most people don't seem to play for this. It's called fun. 
I like to have fun in my video games. I don't like to go to work in video games. So, uh... It's locked. <laughs> I like to roleplay like a giant nerd. And I like to just have a blast. Let's go. Hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely morning. Looks like uh, we're gonna have to explore this entire area before we find it, but that's okay. I can't carry anymore. It is what it is. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes the game just wants you to talk a little bit longer. Let me pour myself a cool, refreshing beverage, if that's okay with you guys, ladies and gentlemen. The nectar of the gods right here. There we go. I'm doing an awful lot of talking. I almost couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited about making this video. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, I feel better now. Let's go. Just leave no stone unturned. How's that sound? That sound good? Where could we have missed it? Where could we have missed it? This is a humongous place. It's easy to miss stuff. This is why people like to use Enigma. And I like Enigma. You know what I don't like about Enigma? I don't like the repair bill. Okay? That's, that's the thing I don't like about Enigma. It is expensive. There we go. Just gotta be a little patient sometimes. Guys. Don't worry at 90% resistance. I, I'm extremely doubtful anything's gonna kill me. 60% dodge, 90% resistance. I, uh, I'm highly doubtful, which is also why I think Room Master might actually work on this game. I'm super excited to theory craft it. So I was writing down the the rooms that I would like to put in the room master. And it depends if I can get my hands on an ethereal one. If I can get an ethereal one, obviously I'm gonna put a, a Zod room in it. Because I wanna be able to use it, right? Um, but the other rooms I'm thinking about putting in it are Ja, um, Ohm. And two shells. If you guys can think of a better combination than that, let me know. But that's what immediately came to my mind when I uh, when I was thinking about putting five rooms in a room master. Don't worry, I'm about to send you to your brother. <laughs> there can be. Mephisto is so hard to get to, man. The only person harder to get to is that uh, tutorial, right? Oh my goodness. First, you got to do a Scooby-Doo mystery and figure out which tomb he's in. They should just have a giant red arrow pointing to the tomb. That would make him actually worth farming, right? This is my suggestion to uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected Dev. Giant red arrow pointing to his tomb. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's speed that process up a little bit. All right, there went Mephisto. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go, baby. So we killed Andario, Mephisto. Who's next? Who's next on our hit list? How about the Chaos Sanctuary? So for those of you who don't know, Chaos Sanctuary is actually kind of famous for uh, being difficult for melee characters. Now, if you find yourself dying in Chaos Sanctuary, there's a guy named Sweet Phil who put out a video that was a lifesaver for me. And in his video, he recommended an item uh, that not a lot of people use. It's called the Rising Sun. It's an amulet. And usually people die on these uh, winged demon spawns. 
inside the Chaos Sanctuary. Well, the Rising Sun will make it heal you instead of kill you. And, uh, it helps out with Diablo too. So you slap on a Rising Sun and a Dwarf Star, and the next thing you know, Bob's your uncle. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna do cows, we're gonna do bell. Somebody's got some, uh, you got some keys, I'll do the Uber, you can have the loot. I'm 100% positive she can do Uber, because I did Ubers with the Frenzy Barbarian wearing Guardian Angel. So I know she can do it. She's more defensive than he is. She's gonna be better. Yeah, 100% positive this chick can do Uber. So, in six months from now, when Terra's almost come to see the player knock on the roof, um, she's gonna be ready to uh, kick butt and take nap. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they should make Terra's own single player. I know it's something to make ladder more exciting, but most of your people never even get charmed in ladder. How are they going to get Sunder charmed? It's, it's a bit of a waste, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. You guys need to make it a single player. Just, just straight up. And they need to drop more than these drop. You're really not helping anybody if people don't get their hands on them, right? It, it really doesn't help anybody if they never get one. Yeah, I don't care about that item. I have one. Yeah, if you really want to help out the people who need help the most, it's not the people who can already get antelices and uh, torches. Those people actually don't need help. The people who need help are your average, hard-working Diablo 2 players who only get to play 10 hours a week. Dude, just make it drop every single time they complete a terrorism. Why is this gotta be so complicated? And then the people who actually need the help will get the help, right? Doesn't that make sense? Do you really need to help Mr. Llama, Sweetfield, Brunsky? No! They don't need your help. They got people dying to play with them in Diablo 2 and give them all the help they could possibly need. And they don't even need their help. They can do it without them. These people are highly skilled. They don't need the Sunder Charm. You know who needs the Sunder Charm? The guy who's working two jobs and his only pleasure in life for two hours a week is to play Diablo 2. That's the guy who needs the Sunder Charm. But you know that's not the way society works. The rich get richer, right? I can't carry Ain't that the way things go? Well, we can fix that. We can fix that, Diablo 2. We could do it together. Help out the little man. Help out the little man, Diablo 2. Think of the working class. Think of the people who are not super users of your game. Your super users do not need the help of some of the Your people like, I would dare say even put myself in that category. Um, I'm not a super user of Diablo 2. I barely know anything about the game at all, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I've studied it, I've played it a lot, but there's so much I don't know. And this is actually the most dangerous place in the game for this character, by the way. If you just seen me take damage, the reason I took damage is, you got 90% resistance, they remove your resistance, you're just a chump, right? You're, you're gonna die. Yeah, this is the most dangerous place in the entire game for this character. Just so you know. The boss pack with Lord Lorez or whatever his name is, that's the, uh, that's the one most likely to kill you. Just keeping it real, telling you the truth, being honest. So, you know, Diablo 2 devs, if you happen to see this video in time, please help out the common man. Let's, you know, they say a rising tide raises all ships. 
Let's raise some ships, man. Let's help the working man get Sunder Charm. And, uh, I promise you, if more people are having fun in your game, this game's gonna get more popular and it's going to sell more. Having 1% of 1% of people get Sunder Charm doesn't help anybody. And it doesn't even help the people that get it. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm super grateful to the devs for coming up with these wonderful ideas like Terrorism, for these wonderful ideas like Sunder Charm. But since you are so great to come up with these beautiful ideas, allow me to help you out a little bit with philosophy. And my philosophy is let's help out the little man, the person that actually needs the help. Every time you do a tip, right, this is what I think. This is how you can fix it. Make Terra Zone single player immediately. And every time you kill a boss in a Terra Zone, it drops a Sunder Charm. That simple. Make them dirt cheap. That way these websites that sell things can't sell them. Make them dirt cheap. Don't let these people profit off of your game. If you make it like a game, it's going to sell for $100 each. Like, that's insane. We, That's oppression of the poor. That's what that is. Not by you, by those websites. Yeah, this is the most likely pack to kill me. <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> Day. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we are having absolutely no trouble. Have you noticed that? We're having no trouble in Diablo 2 whatsoever. Um, what is up for the love? Hey, Harry. No Dead by Daylight? I'm so sorry, Harry. Um, my MMR got so high in Dead by Daylight um, that it only put me up against teams that had cheaters. And one day I played, you know, I used to play 25 games a day of Dead by Daylight for two years. Well, one day I went to play, and in my first six games of the day, four of the games had cheaters in it. And when you should be winning, and instead you're miraculously losing every game, it's depressing. And it, it was making me angry, and Brother Love doesn't like to play video games angry. So until they fix the cheater problem, I'm afraid that I can't go back to, uh, I can't go back to it. But it's so nice to see you here, and, and I do want Dead by Daylight to be successful. I just, I've never seen a video game come back from a cheating problem. Um, once cheaters take over, I've never seen a game recover. But I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that they will. If they, if they fix the cheating problem, I will come back. I mean, I played it for 7,000 hours. What you got, Diablo? What you got for me, baby? I am <laughs> and that was without the rising sun, I want to point out. That was without the optimum year for Diablo. Yeah, it, it does suck. I mean, I love Dead by Daylight with all my heart. I was watching my friend play the other day. And he was playing Billy, and I came so close to re-downloading the game. Because if there's one thing I love about Dead by Daylight, it's playing Billy. Oh my goodness. I was jonesing for the game so bad, but you, here's the ironic part, right? In that exact same game, there was a speed hacker that made his life miserable. In that exact same game. And I was like, yeah, that's why I can't play anymore. That's literally why I cannot play the game that I that I enjoy, right? Oh well, such is life. When one door closes, another door opens. All right, let's uh, see a man about it. Bill's got that crown of the ages he's been promising me. <laughs> I'm gonna go shake him down for some milk money. Have you guys ever seen a movie called The Big Lebowski? 
It's so funny. The guy is dipping his head into uh, the royal throne. Where's the money, Lebowski? And he says, uh, let me look for more time. <laughs> the dude's stuck in his head. And it's so funny. The big Lebowski is so funny. Man. Oh, love that one. I can't carry any more. But not with that attitude. You gotta have a can do attitude. Do you want to live forever? I can't carry any more. <laughs> The first time I saw that movie, I was like, I'm going to hate this movie so much. And uh, I ended up just falling in love with it. And it's written by these brothers. They're called the Cohen Brothers. I think they write and direct their own movies. They're famous for movies like Old Brother, Where Art Thou? Um, no Country for Old Men, I believe. But my absolute favorite Cohen Brothers movie, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is the Hudsucker Proxy. And if you have not seen it, you must watch this movie. It has Tim Robbins from uh, Shawshank Redemption. He played Andy Dufresne. Um, it has Paul Newman, famous from a little movie I like to call Cool Hand Luke. Absolutely beautiful movie. The Hudsucker Proxy. It is amazing. Amazing. Long live the HUD. Not counting the message. I wish I could turn that sound bite off. Yeah, we get it. You can't care anymore. We, 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 we got you. You're, you're full. Okay. <laughs> We're all on the same page. And don't worry, there's not a monster that can spawn that's going to bother me. I know that's what everybody's thinking. Oh, he's going to run into a monster he's not going to be able to kill. No, I can handle everything. I have ran this all night long. Uh, this build can kill everything. You want me to put my money where my mouth is? I'll kill the loot. You get the loot. I don't need the loot. I'll be more than happy to kill the loot. Promise you. This can kill you. I can't kill Guarantee it. Brother Love would not like it. And I know it can, because I did it with the Frenzy Barbarian. <laughs> Wearing a guardian angel. Bro, if you can do it with that, you can do it with anything. <laughs> that isn't that isn't exactly the most the most powerful thing in the night. To be honest with you, I don't think I would use a Sunder Charm on this character because I can't carry it would kind of defeat the purpose of of what her strength is. Her strength is she doesn't get hit by anything, and if she does get hit, it doesn't do any damage to her, right? So by putting on a Sunder Charm and taking the 25 physical damage, that would be terrible. That would be horrible for her. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I was playing a, uh, a Holy Freeze Paladin the other day, and I got one shot by one of those dudes. Yeah, apparently they hit really hard, those, uh, <laughs> Those guys, they, they hit really hard. Just walked up and one shot me. I was like, oh. This wasn't the way this was supposed to go. But I love to watch movies and I love to play video games. And uh, I'm so excited to show you guys this build. It's absolutely lovely, it is a delight to play. It's making my heart swell with a sense of pride and accomplishment that the only other way I ever felt this is when I purchased an EA game. You know? Let's go, baby. Uh, hey, 
uh, have you ever played the Path of Exile? Um, I tried to play Path of Exile about six times. Sometimes I have to try and play a game over and over and over again. How are you doing, by the way? God bless you. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, here's the thing. I just have not yet been able to get into it. I'm a, I know it's one of the greatest ARPGs ever made. Like, I'm not, I'm not disputing that at all. I know that for a fact. I just have not been able to get into it. Um, no doubt it's some flaw that I possess that's making it hard for me to get into it. But I have tried about six times and I have not accomplished it yet. I know it's super beautiful with this lovely, this absolutely lovely giant um, skill tree. And that's what attracts me to it, honestly, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, I just have not been able to get into it, my friend. I've tried so many times. Don't worry, I'll probably try again. Now that I can't play Dead by Daylight. Excuse me, sir, you're supposed to die real quick, okay? So, do me a favor and just uh, fall over dead, okay? <laughs> How dare you, sir! <sighs> yeah, what you gonna do? You get these, uh, immune to physicals. They're, uh, they're tough. They're tough. There you go, buddy. Man, I think the reason it's taking us a while to kill him is that magic resistance. Jeez Louise. This dude's got every good resistance in the game, don't he? Look at him. He's an absolute chat. It's the final boss right here. This guy's harder than Bell. <laughs> He's harder than Uber Bell. <laughs> the only reason I'm killing him is because of the poison from the breeze. And he's gone. You were a worthy opponent, sir. The best part about this build is when you get hit by 20 lightning strikes and you That's uh that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody somebody's balling in here. Here, let's regroup. This is a strategy that I like to use sometimes. It's called regrouping. It's better than dying. Something's very strong right there. Let's go resurrect my homeboy. And let's take it nice yes, and slow. Warrior. Let's try this again. Round two. Uh, it would help if I had the correct Valkyrie, I'm sure. The cherry red Valkyrie. That's the one that I want. There we go. Look at that. I called my shot. Come get some, guys. Woo! Those guys hit hard, man. Fire, right? Yeah, that's why we run it. Uh, don't grow old, guys. Stay young and beautiful forever. <laughs> I need to take this off the bar. That's what I need to do. Let's take it off the bar. Here, let's uh, let's call this F two. Ah. There we go. <laughs> there, now we can't make that same mistake again. It's only the second time we've done that in this run. Embarrassing. Embarrassing, guys. See, imagine how much better you could play this build than I play it, right? You're young and beautiful and experts at Diablo 2. You guys would do this the right way. 
wouldn't make the mistakes that old man makes. Yeah, the worst feeling in the world is when you come in here and you get hit by 20 lightning strikes and you're instantly dead. We don't have to worry about that. That is a pretty bad feeling. So, uh, some people would say, oh, if you would draw from a fight, that's a, a loss and a tremendous victory for your enemy, right? Now, that's rope dope baby. That's Muhammad Ali. That's a little thing I like to call strategery. Sometimes discretion is the better part of that. physical bowers on last night just did not have fun and that's kind of what led me to this build is I was like well I, I tried this build once in the past when the bug existed let's try it since they fixed the bug and it is glorious you just turn your brain off and kill everything what's not the love it's safer than my safest paladin build Yeah, I don't think this is the most powerfully damaging melee build, but I do think it's hands down the safest. And it does tremendous damage. It does tremendous damage and it's safe. Oh, you guys kind of hurt. Look at you. Look at you go. Get me. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, that's why they damaged you. There's, there's two names. <laughs> I was like, how did they damage you? Don't worry, we don't have a problem with any bell wave. There's not going to be a bell wave that we're going to struggle with. running something over and over again. These are the guys who are most likely to kill my uh, my companion. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't kill Tramensel. Um, I'm going to kill the council after Bill. That way you guys can see how I handle that. I want to make sure I give you bang for your buck. I am overburdened. Let you guys see everything. Because different people struggle with different things in Diablo 2, right? I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. Maybe one day there's going to be a loot filter. That would be amazing. They're doing so many good changes in this game, I don't doubt that it'll happen. I don't doubt that given enough time and interest in this game, guys, that's why I'm trying to help you out. 
Um, devs, listen. Make Sunders easy to get. Put them single player immediately. You want to grow your game, right? You're not going to grow your game by Mr. Llama getting a Sunder charm. You will grow your game by Mr. Hardworking American and, and every other nation getting a Sunder charm. You know, your average person that actually needs it, more people will play your game. That's my advice. Make it accessible to people that need it. And there's a war club, but we, we get that so often. We know exactly what that is. GG's. Okay, let's go kill the council real quick, and then we'll do cows. Yeah, I love this game so much. I hope they make the right decision. Because Sweet Phil is right. I hope they watch that Sweet Phil video. And I hope they come away with the correct conclusion. If only 1% of 1% of the players are going to get Sunder Charms, you have helped no one do anything. You, you've not helped the people that need the help. But, if you put Terror Zones in single player, and a Sunder Charm is guaranteed to drop every Terror Zone, then you have helped Joe Blow, who just came home from working his second job in the factory, You've done you've done a fellow human being a solid. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feel good about that, guys. You gotta feel good about that. You're not gonna help the Brunson. You're not gonna help Mr. Cooley with a Sunder Charm. Sweet Phil don't need that Sunder Charm, I promise you. But Phil from Philadelphia? Yeah, he used a Sunder Charm and a Philly cheesesteak and a copy of Rocky 2 and Rocky 3. <laughs> I'm gonna bust you up. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I'm curious. Are you all inside, guys? Maybe I can kill him before my uh, some of my dudes get attacked by the fire thing. The fire thing is love to kill my uh, my constituents. Oh, accidentally went down. Is everything dead? I think everything's dead. I think we did it. It's hard to tell. Okay, we killed the council. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go do a cow run, and that will probably be the end of the stream, my beautiful friends. Probably be the end of the stream. Let's go. Oh, big stretch. <sighs> Now's the perfect time to sing a song. Because we can just turn our brain off and do the things. As is tradition in the stream, let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones do can't carry him. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Jesus loves me. He I can't died. Carry anymore. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you.
I am yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Jesus loves me, loves me still. Though I am very weak and ill, from his shining throne on high, comes to watch me where I lie. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Yeah, my daughter's at school right now. I miss the days when me and her would stream reading the Bible. But if you don't want to miss those days, I actually have every one of those streams saved uh, in the VOD section of my Twitch. So uh, if you've ever been curious about the Bible and the books, the Deuterocanicals, the Apocrypha, the Old Testament, the New Testament, um, me and my daughter cover all that stuff in, uh, in the VODs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, fair warning, I'm just an old man, I'm a country boy. What do I know? You know, I'm just reading the Bible doing my best. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and study for yourself. The more I think I know, the less I actually know. Ain't that the truth? Let's take this guy's milk money real quick. Yeah, I've heard nothing but <laughs> nothing but <clears throat> good things about Path of Exile. I got scared for a second there, I was dying. Can't do that on me. <laughs> oh, that was bad luck. At the same time I needed to clear my throat and I was talking about something, something was they were laying it on me, man. I'm trying to make me look like a chunk. Let's go. What was I saying? I don't remember. <sighs> oh, and some good advice that I can give you guys. You know, Brother Love's all about the good advice. <clears throat> You guys ready for some good advice? Uh, my recommendation is to invest in rice and beans now. You can go to a website called Webstaurant Store. I'm not sponsored by them, but I did buy some rice and beans from them. Um, made in America, rice and beans. 50 pounds of rice, made in America, $20. 20 pounds of beans, $20, made in America. Um, stock up now. Uh, I suggest that you get a, a rain catching and filtration system. They're very cheap. You can catch the rainwater and you can filter it. Um, I highly recommend Regions. becoming self-sufficient. Get you some protection. Get you some pew pew or get you some uh, a Rottweiler like we got. I think he was $300 and he has been a great investment. He is a, a beautiful dog. He's loving with the whole family. Um, this is real world advice I'm giving you guys because we're about to see some really hard times in the good old USA. And I want you guys to be ready. Yeah. I want you guys to be ready. Because inflation is about to hit like a truck. And I know what you're saying. Brother Love, my grocery bill already went up. My electric bill already went up. What do you mean inflation is about to hit? Well, I'm going to tell you something that you don't know. Brother Love loves to research history, economics, and politics, in addition to religion. And uh, <laughs> we're releasing millions of barrels of oil from our strategic oil reserve to artificially keep down inflation until after the elections in November, okay? But January and February, we're gonna get hit like you won't believe. And I want you guys to be prepared. I want you guys to be prepared. Uh, you can buy a rabbit for 20 bucks, buy you one male and female rabbit, mow your grass, feed the rabbits the grass. 
Yeah, believe it or not, rabbits eat grass, ladies and gentlemen. They drink water, they eat grass. They're the easiest animal you've ever taken care of in your life. Two rabbits will give you 20 pounds of meat a year. Just, you know, build up your stock a little bit, get you five males, five females. That's 100 pounds of meat a year. You're not relying on the grocery store. You're not paying $10 a pound for meat. You're, you're basically getting meat for free. I'm not, I'm not even joking to you. This is the best advice that I can give my fellow Americans. Prepare now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go kill some cows. But I love you, and I don't want to see you guys suffer. So, you know Brother Love's going to tell you the truth if you can. You got some hard times ahead, but that's okay. Life's not about being rich. Life is about enjoying the things you have. My daughter used to sing that song. I love that song. Yeah, be thankful for the good things that you got. And there's a lot to be thankful for. I love America. Love my country. Love my city. I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day. So they they're suspecting the economists that I that I trust that they're not sure how high the price of a gallon of gas is going to go in February. I am That's how worried they are. <clears throat> and they've always been right in the past. So. I'm going to be honest, uh, gas is very expensive already. It's scary to think about it going up, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? My groceries have shrunk, but my grocery bill has not shrunk. I used to pay $150 a week for groceries. We're paying $300 a week for groceries. And we're getting the exact same groceries. Well, probably less, actually. That's how everything seems to shrink. So be careful, my beautiful human beings. It's, uh... It's a tough life. We're gonna need to rely on each other. We're gonna have to be a community. You know, one of my favorite places in the world, the Philippines, I got a lot of friends from the Philippines. Bing Bong, if you're seeing this, you know I love you. Um, they don't got a lot, but they got this thing called love. And they're a really good community. So instead of looking at what's going to happen in January and February and saying, oh, this is a negative, this is horrible, you know, this is an opportunity to make new friends and to help somebody else out. If you ever want to feel good about yourself, help someone else. It will make your self-esteem skyrocket. Um, charities that I recommend are Feeding America. That is one of the best charities you can contribute to. For every dollar you donate, they can make seven meals for a family. So, want to feel good about yourself? Feeding America. Guaranteed way right there. So basically what I'm trying to do here is not get completely surrounded by the cows. That's uh, that's no bueno. Oh, no wonder I'm not killing them. I'm still... <laughs> I'm such an old man. <laughs> I was in the book called the army. Well, let alone, you're never going to kill him. I, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Call the arms, ain't I can't it? carry anymore. <laughs> that ain't the secret. That ain't the secret. Ask me if you can make a mistake, I'll make it. <clears throat> but they do this a uh, happiness index for countries to see what countries are the happiest, right? And the Philippines routinely shows up as one of the happiest countries. And you're talking about a place where 
not to put too fine a point on it, but uh. I can't carry anymore. I'd hate to say third world country, but they're very poor, but they're very happy because they help each other out. Oh, you need somebody to watch your kid? I'll watch your kid while you do this for me. And the community works together, and they make it together. Whereas in America, we can learn a lesson from that because childcare in America is one of the greatest expenses that most families face. Super expensive to get somebody to watch your kid, right? So expensive. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. All right, let's try not to miss anything. Probably gonna circle back in a giant circle. And yeah, I completely agree with you guys. If you're looking at this build and you're going, ah, oh, your other paladin build kills cows so much faster. Absolutely true. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to dispute that whatsoever. Double Dragon Hand of Justice is a cow murdering machine. Um, but this build works too, right? You know, there's some people out there that never killed hell cows. I mean, I just I want to point that out. Let's not take it for granted it's that locked. one build does it quicker than another. The point is, we can do it with this build. That's the point. And if I could remember to swap call to arms, I'd do so much better here. <laughs> I would do so much better. Just checking everything. You never know when you're going to find a room. Have you noticed that my, uh... My Valkyrie has never come close to dying. Yeah, she's a... She's an absolute chick. And I'm not sure if Call to Arms applies. I'm just assuming that it does. There's probably somebody right now. They, they absolutely know the answer to that. There's a lot of questions I don't know the answer to. And that's okay. That's why we have the Mr. Llamas of the world to give us the answer. I think we're headed towards the cow king now, right? I don't think I have seen his majesty yet. So, it is true that I would not run this build if I was magic climbing. There's much faster builds to magic climb with. But if you're in the mood for melee, and you just want to kill everything in the game, it is it is delightful. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there he is, right there at the bottom. Nah, I didn't even see him die. I'm going to be completely honest. There's a ton of cows right there. Yeah, 
And bear in mind, we're only level 84. We're only going to get more powerful, right? Stats go up, ladies and gentlemen. And hey, if Terra Zones ever come to single player, knock on wood, I sure hope so, um, we're going to be able to get all of our characters to level 99. And that's going to be beautiful. Imagine having a 99 character. Um, I've never had a max level character in EverQuest or in Diablo 2. So, <laughs> that sure would be nice. That sure would be nice. Tau, Tear, where's my Burr? Where's my Zod? Give me something nice. It's locked. Yeah, the first time I even beat Hell was last year when this game launched. Um, so it's locked. I've got a lot to learn about Diablo 2. I've got a lot to learn. Well, I'm gonna be honest. We killed the cow king. We're pretty much. We're pretty much. Done. Got a couple more packs of cows to kill, and we're gonna wrap things up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you noticed, but I try and stay on the outside of a pack, and that's just so I don't get surrounded and cleaved to death, right? I don't know what they hit with, but it, it hits hard. Oh. And I'd rather not take a 10 hits at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Try and play smarter, not harder. So I typically try and stay on the outskirts of the cow pack. My dudes have done an absolute wonderful job of tanking for me. And that's their whole purpose. To tank for me. Beautiful, beautiful. It's another towel rune, don't need that. Guardian Angels are one of the cheapest items to purchase in the game. So, I really do think this is a very accessible deal for everybody. People don't like Guardian Angel. They think it's a terrible item. I think Guardian Angel is an absolutely beautiful, lovely, wonderful item. So, wrapping up, we're going to wrap everything up now in a beautiful little bow. I'm going to go over to build one last time. And then we are going to end the stream, my lovely human beings. Let's talk about the build one more time. So this build makes use of the Valkyrie. The red Valkyrie, this one right here, is the tankiest Valkyrie out of all of them. This is the one that you want. You don't want the dark red one. You don't want the orange one. They look very similar. You want this beautiful red one right here, okay? Um, he says, you know, for all I know, this might be the orange one, and I'm just colorblind. I'm not even joking with you guys. It, <laughs> it could be the orange one. I, 
Uh, anyway, um, you want 20 points in Valkyrie, 20 in Decoy, 20 in Penetrate, and then you want to put your points in Critical Strike, Dodge, Avoid, and Evade. You notice I have 14, 7, 5, 7. And this pretty much means that you're not going to get hit by anything. Guardian Angel gives us 90% resistance. How lovely, how beautiful is that? Um, some of our break points are 95 IAS, 95 hit recovery, 50% um, crushing blow, which is absolutely delightful. We have some uh, open wounds, deadly strike, 81% deadly strike. So if I remember correctly, I think Dabrowski explained this once. I think... Deadly Strike plus the crit chance from Valkyrie, it just basically increases your chance of getting a critical. I don't know that you're going to get like double criticals. I, I don't know anything about that. Um, I think it just overall increases your chance of getting a crit. Uh, he could explain it much better than I can. 110 in Strength, 225 in Dex, 160 in Vitality. Let's take a look at some of our gear now. Um, our mercenary has the Reaper's Toll, Andy's Visage, Fortitude. We have the centerpiece of our build is the Guardian Angel, Call to Arms on Swap, Spirit, Grief, Gullimane's Face, High Lord's Wrath, Verdungo's, Lay of Hands, Bulkathos, Ravenfrost, Gore Rider, and I think you could do a, I think you could do a lot with this build with a lot less. I think you can I think you can beat the game easily with a lot less than this. And that's it. Let me just show the picture one more time. Uh, this is a brand new build. It's been 20 years since Diablo seen a brand new build, right? Let's uh Let's show it off. This is the Valyria build in Diablo 2. We're in the Passive and magic skill tree and you see me do all the content in the game. I Promise you this can do ubers with ease With ease if I could do it with a guardian angel on a frenzy barbarian I can definitely kill ubers with this girl. She's way tankier This is the tankiest character I've ever played in Diablo 2 and I've played them all um, Love this character so much Again, if you want to role play, you can go to Act 5 and get the Mercenary there. Frenzy Barbarian, that would be Conan the Barbarian. Um, you can go to Act 1 and get the Archer. You can go to Act 2, which I did, and get the old Sorcerer, the Wizard. Or you can go to Act 3 and get Fulsa Doom himself. Depends on how you want to role play the game. And uh, I say God bless you guys, and I hope you have an absolutely lovely day. And the good Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow, and I will just be farming. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys have an absolutely lovely day. Many blessings, many blessings. And that's going to be the end of the stream. Bye, guys.